Okay, so I just wanted to come on and speak a little to share a bit my point of view, my true movie review, as I speak upon the constant sea of headlines and articles and puff pieces and sources told of Harry and Meghan's flop. A flop of today, a disaster, another event gone wrong as every direction they seem to take, they can't read a room or simply understand. But it doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand that it was never even a starter at this point, you know. They, they, they peaked the moment they stepped out onto that stage and sat with Oprah as they sold and shared their family's pain. There was never going to be a moment where they were going to achieve post that. And I say that to you, like a human being who can understand that if you were to partake in so much hate, then naturally that will come back to you tenfold. You know, you can't take a main stage and create such controversy as you sell your story, which includes so many others, which have become characters for the people, for a country, in how you think this is the way to live your life in how people are going to applaud thee it doesn't work that way you know if me and my husband were going to step out and do that to my family even on this level without them being a royal family we would have to suffer the consequences of that and we see constantly this, you know, this flop of now and it's a disaster it's not worked out it's not gone to plan but that that it that it began with Oprah it was never going to rise after that. There was only a certain amount of time in which they were going to ride that wave of selling their family's pain. There was always going to be a moment where the tide was going to turn and we have watched that now for the last four, five, whatever, how many years now, you know? And Prince Harry and Meghan humiliated after star power fails as couple face separation. Now, it's just speaking facts of the reality. What star power are we on about? You know, Prince Harry was born into a monarchy. He was born into a family of opulence and wealth. Any charity he wanted to head, he gets. You're set. Let's go. You know, he didn't have to work to achieve. He didn't build up from ground up. He just got what he needed. He was born into a throne. And that is his story that he can hone. Okay, that got him to Oprah. That got him to Netflix. That got him her book contract but after that you need to stand out on your own and show your star power so great but all he knows is to turn up and cut a ribbon to be in place in which he was directed Meghan Markle on the other hand she had a few you know we've seen her on the screens with, with extras and movies in a few seasons on suits but other than that what has she grown of her own what is she creative? What star power? And the sad reality is, and I can say this at 41 in a few weeks myself, the older you get, you, more options disappear, you know? And she's never going to be Julia Roberts. She was never that in the first place. That's why she was never a big name. She was mediocre if, if you know, anything at that. So what star power are we on about other than trashing their family? That, that's the only brands they've got. And this is about them stepping out in no longer the salt and pepper because they've realised, you know, the people don't want to see them out together because it's no good. And here's the thing, no matter what you feel about Prince Harry, there is a basic reality to this, in my opinion, as I try and carve an analogy of how I see it to be. We have a basic foundation, a setup, a scene of what Prince Harry is. We watched him step out with his grand, the Queen. We watched him do all that. We watched him have healthy relationships with his family at events. We watched him smile and be comfortable within those four walls. We, we had a portrait of what Harry was before Meghan come along. This pretty picture, rebellious at times, in called out by the press for slurs that came out of his mouth. We know that. We know all that he was before. Meghan Markle, however, she was just a blank canvas and we, you know, and, and, and 
We've literally, everything she's done since she got with Harry, we've watched her paint to us the picture of who she is. So what have we seen? As she took that paintbrush, as she sat there and mocked the queen, what portrait has she given to us of her? And all we see is an ugly picture painted in high definition up on our screen. We've got no foundations of her, but beyond that canvas, we've got her family, who she's kicked off beyond, as she just moves on in Don't Look Behind. You know, it, 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 it's... That is that, isn't it? And in, in, as we go on with this article in The Express, it's a PR expert basically explaining Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were given a damning verdict by a PR expert who said their star power as business partners has not been successful. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were brutally savaged by a PR expert who claimed the reason the couple are embarking on solo projects now is due to the fact that their star power wasn't as successful as they hoped and it's not gonna be. Even in the world of celebrity, you've got to put in, you've got to give in, you've got to work to achieve those awards in these, you know, in these events on these stages. The large majority, anyway. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex appear to have adopted a new business strategy after they made a series of solo appearances in recent weeks. Prince Harry went on a solo tour in New York, London and Southern Africa to promote causes close to him while Meghan was seen attending events linked to her own projects. But of course, naturally, it seeps out. She's only there for the photo event. She don't stay the whole time in situ because and then it just adds another reflection, another colour upon on that portrait, that blank canvas, which don't add up to a beautiful picture that we see. Now PR specialist Mark Borowski Bro claimed there is a reason that caused their business separation. He told Best Magazine, there has been a separation of their work for a while. Harry is going back to basics with a formula that worked well for him as a royal family member. Harry is going back to try and unpaint the damage that he's created on his pretty picture that the royal family painted for him they had to change the narrative and here goes though this is the thing the the lack of authenticity the lack of genuine as constantly this uncomfortable watch has been marred by different directions the narrative when the real reality is what the people need and seek from these two is for them to stand up and take accountability that their actions and behaviors have caused great harm and divide worldwide you can't just revert back you can't change the narrative to this it's like a, a roadblock in the way of this direction and this is why you keep veering off but it's it don't sit still to watch in the people in a world full of lies that we see and the mainstream which harry speaks on they seek genuine honesty and truth a celebrity branding and marketing expert said this is akin to splitting aces at the poker table together you'd think they're unbeatable and normally they would be, but oftentimes it's better to play two separate hands with an ace as an anchor. And here we go. This is the world of celebrity and how they treat the people as they try and manipulate and separate, go around different ways. And they're just lacking that genuine as they try and manipulate to get in good favour and shine this portrait so grand and great in our face. But her portrait and what she's painted, we can't erase. And if we did, it's just a blank. It's just a blank where him, there was something that we really could scratch the surface on. Right now, when you see Harry and Meghan together, it conjures an immediate association to the drama, none of which is positive. Leaving the royal family, the tallow book, the sit down, the negativity, and that I agree. And here's the thing, I do the aftermath of abuse and whether you hate him or not, there's a reality in how someone can come along and help with that paintbrush and help you overlay and paint over the good that you were as they enforce to you that all that was bad and then they take their blank canvas and show you, look, we paint our own way. This is the best you could ever have. These are my thoughts, my opinions and a crazy analogy of my true movie review of everything they place out on full view.